and with that, I'd like to welcome Tom Osman and Kalpesh, I believe, from Pharonix. Can you hear me? Yeah, hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Hello. Good, good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Hello. Hello. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tom in the product team at Pharonix, and I have with me today my colleagues, Usman and Kalpesh. So Kalpesh is the account manager. He can take care of any commercial questions, um, and Usman is my technical colleague. So I'm just going to introduce who we are at Pharonix before handing over to Usman for a live technical demo of our products. Um, and as Finn said, um, if you have any questions, please pop them in the chat. We're very happy to answer any questions that you may have um, on today's presentation. So we were founded in 1996. Um, our headquarters are in Vancouver in Canada. And since 1996, we've spread all around the world to more than 150 countries. In that time, we've deployed more than 10 million licenses and we have over 30,000 unique customers. So this is where our offices are. So as I said, we're headquartered in Vancouver in Canada. We're sat here in Bracknell in England. Um, we also have offices in the USA and in Singapore. But just to confirm that we do have support coverage in Europe throughout business hours. We work with some of the biggest names on the planet, as you can see there. But we also work with all kinds of small businesses, thousands of small and tiny businesses. We provide excellent customer services for everyone. We're trusted everywhere to look after IT estates, however simple or complicated those estates. We're going to demo three products to you today. First one is Phronix Cloud Deep Freeze, and then we'll move on to Phronix Cloud Deploy and Phronix Insight. Phronix Cloud Deep Freeze and Deploy are both endpoint management solutions. So if you're an IT manager in charge of a lot of workstations, there's going to be something in these products to make your life easier. But just to explain, the key differentiator between the two products is the reboot to restore solution within Deep Freeze. So that functionality basically ensures, if you, if you turn it on, that when a workstation is restarted, it will restart in its original state and any local changes introduced by the local user are going to disappear. That is typically useful in multi-user environments, for example, schools, libraries, universities. Um, so typically those kind of environments would go for Phronix Cloud Deep Freeze. But if you have an environment where it's one user per machine, like a typical office, you'd probably go for Deploy because that and doesn't include the Reboot to Restore solution. And then the third product is Foronix Insight. Uh, this is a classroom management tool, so this is a really powerful tool for teachers to manage their classes. So this slide just explains in a bit more detail who would need Deep Freeze and who would need Deploy. Um, both products will allow you to centrally manage your endpoints from one cloud URL, um, but if you're looking at multi-user machines, we're typically recommending Deep Freeze, and if you're looking at office machines, we're typically recommending Deploy. Here are some of the ways in which we can help you. Um, so software deployment is one. So if you're spending lots of time packaging up software updates, um, you don't need to spend any time on it at all, really. We can automate all that for you. You can schedule all your software updates um, and you can make sure you're delivering completely up-to-date software and keep your environment secure um, and not spend a lot of time on that. And the same with Windows updates. You can schedule all your Windows updates um, or if you like, you can um, configure your environment so that you can deliver your Windows updates on demand. So you, you can have total control over what's happening with regard to all your software updates and all your Windows updates. Imaging is another big time saver. Um, you shouldn't be spending a lot of time on setting up new hardware. We make it very straightforward. And Remote Connect, another feature to pick out there. 
is included within ultimate licenses so you can easily just remote directly into any of your colleagues workstations so that's just a couple of highlights there but there's lots more to come in the demo that's about to start and just to show uh, um, which services are included within uh, deep freeze and which within deploy they both do similar jobs um, but the differentiator is deep freeze just moving on to Pharonix Insight. So this is a fantastic classroom management tool for teachers. So you can have a live preview of all your students' screens. Um, you can see exactly what your students are doing with one glance. You can share content very easily um, with your students. You can really easily create tests and polls. You can chat easily and collaborate across all kinds of different projects um, at the click of a button and you can restrict what your teachers what your students can do so you can prevent them from going on websites you don't want them to go on you can limit their applications that they, they can use um, and you can configure profiles for um, different uh, lockdown states to make sure that your students are focused on the tasks you need them to be focused on we offer a free 30-day trial for everything. Um, so if you happen to like what Usman is going to show you, then you can sign up for a 30-day free trial. There's no obligation there. And we'll be happy to help you out through the trial to make sure that um, you understand what you've signed up for and, and you can get the best out of it. But as I say, no obligation. You can try it for 30 days, uh, see what you think. So just a couple of examples of um, happy customers. We have thousands of happy customers everywhere, but just a couple here. Um, so one quite cool example is LAPD. So they've been a customer of ours for a long time, um, and they use our products to reduce downtime, and their IT management is made really easy, and that allows their police force to concentrate on fighting crime instead of worrying about IT issues. A um, couple more testimonials from Europe here. Um, really the key theme from these testimonials is the amount of time we save. So we save IT managers a lot of time. Um, it shouldn't be um, performing manual tasks. We can automate a lot of your work for you. Um, and the second theme is really security. So. Um, in a, in a world where security threats are growing ever more, um, we, we can really re remove that headache for you and ensure that your environments are totally secure. Okay, so I'm now gonna hand over to my colleague, Usman, who's going to demo the products I mentioned there. Okay, thank you, John. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'll switch to the actual product demo now and uh, show you how the product uh, functions in real world. So we'll start with Deep Freeze. So as Tom mentioned, Deep Freeze is a reboot to restore solution. So what it means is, let's say you've got a computer lab uh, or, or a computer environment with 50 computers and there are multiple users using those computers, maybe a call center or a hotel environment or, or a classroom. And uh, you know, user one comes in, they do whatever they want, and then after a couple of hours, they're done with their work and they log off from that computer, and then user two comes in, uses the same computer, and so on. And the cycle keeps on going on. And as an IT administrator, if you're managing a school or any public environment, maybe a library or a council, it becomes difficult to keep a track of what changes the users are doing. So if someone has left behind a trail of their history or accidentally you know, deleted a system file or they've got a virus on the computer, anything could happen. So as an IT administrator, it becomes difficult and you end up investing a lot of time in configuring and managing those computers, making sure they're working fine and rebuilding them or, or cleaning them up. So what we've done is with our deep freeze product, we eliminate all of those issues with a single restart. 
So what Deep Freeze does is it's a reboot to restore solution, which means when you install Deep Freeze on these computers and let users come in and do whatever they want, change wallpaper, uh, delete system files, get a virus on the computer, anything that they do on that computer, when they're done with their session, if you restart, all the changes that they've done, they are wiped out. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect to a computer uh, that has deep freeze through our cloud console. So what you see right now is the management side of the product. It's a web-based console, and I'm just going to remote into a computer from here. So clicking here on remote connect. So once I connect to a computer, uh, I'm going to make some changes on it. So I'll change wallpaper, I'll delete system files, I'll, I'll, I'll copy some folders. So let me just log in here. So this is the machine uh, that's, that's in Canada and, and we've connected from Europe. So you can see we have a remote connect functionality into the product that you can take advantage of, which works over the internet. So I'm just going to open MS Paint and I'm just going to draw a random wallpaper. I'm going to save this on the desktop of the computer. So it's on the desktop and I'm going to set that as the wallpaper. So I'm going to set that as the desktop background. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all these files that's there on the desktop and I'm going to empty the recycle bin. And now after this, I'm going to create a folder of my choice. Now, once I've done this, as a user, I can do anything. I can browse the internet. I can, I can install applications. I can do anything. Now, once I'm done with my session, uh, the administrator can force a restart upon log off, or they can just restart at the end of the day or after every couple of hours. Now, the computer is restarting. Once it has been restarted, we'll connect to it again, and you will see all the changes that I did as a user have been reversed back and my computer is back into its original state as it was when I connected to it for the first time. So that's the deep freeze functionality. It does not add any overhead on the computer, which means you're not going to expect any additional login time or delays while deep freeze is restoring it. We, we don't do snapshots. There is no user or human intervention required. The product just automatically restarts and clears up everything. Uh, the deep freeze concept, the, the technology that we use is patented. We have three patents around uh, the concept of deep freeze. So, so it's a trusted product. It's used across, as Tom mentioned, 150 countries uh, and you know more than 30,000 unique customers, including uh, LAPD, NASA, Microsoft. So it's, it's quite renowned and trusted. I'm just gonna connect back to the computer now and we we'll try to log into it. So it's it's been uh, it's restarted, and you can see it's you know the restart was instantly. There was no uh, time delays of restoring the image or anything because it just works under the hood. I'm going to log into it. So as soon as I log in, you can see all the icons have been restored. Uh, the wallpaper has been restored. The folder that I created is is now gone, and the computer is clean. So this is the core functionality of deep freeze, which adds a lot of value. And based on the research that we've done, uh, we found out that deep freeze helps to reduce up to 63% of your IT tickets. So your IT administrators, they don't have to keep rebuilding computers. They don't have to go to a user's PC and, and troubleshoot computers. They just have to restart once they're done, which can be automated. and Deep Freeze will take care of everything. So that's one product that we wanted to highlight today. And it's it's designed to work across several environments. So if you're government, uh, where you have you know users using the computers with limited access uh, and everything is being saved into the government uh, secure cloud, you can make sure your computers are protected, the endpoints. Similarly, if you're educational environment, you can make sure the student data uh, you know, is saved on cloud uh, or, or a separate storage on the computer, which our product lets you create. And everything can be managed. So we, our, our use case is to allow you to manage and uh, support multiple environments. 
So what we've looked at is the management console and the defreeze product. And um, it has a lot of features like I can, uh, while defreeze is protecting the computer, I can automate a lot of other things. Like I can make sure, you know, the computers are getting Windows updates. And we do this through a concept of maintenance, where as an IT administrator, you can set a time when your computers should undergo a maintenance period and automatically defreeze will disable itself, keep the computer keyboard mouse locked, and then install the updates. And automatically at the end time, defreeze will come back into a frozen state. So we use the term frozen uh, to, uh, you know, uh, to make sure defreeze is enabled or just to justify that, you know, the computers are protected. So while defreeze is protecting the computer, as I said, you know, you can make sure everything else is patched and up to date. Your Windows updates are getting installed and your application updates are getting installed. So we do a lot of things uh, along with defreeze. Uh, as you can see, uh, I'll just go back to one of the slides that we have, uh, you know, here, and you can see there is a lot of uh, there are a lot of features here which we provide. So defreeze is just one of them. Then there is software deployment. If I want to install any application on a computer, I can schedule it uh, and then automatically install it. Then I can do patch management. Uh, there's a complete option for OS deployment as well. So there are a lot of things available in the product. And uh, if I move to this slide, which is the, the differentiation between defreeze and deploy, which uh, are, are two flagship products. So you can see uh, in deploy, we don't have defreeze. So any customers, any of you who, who wish to use our, uh, you know, our Windows update functionality or our patch management functionality or the ability to install applications or imaging, uh, and and at the same time, you would like to freeze the computers with deep freeze. You can use the deep freeze cloud console, which has all of that. But there could be some environments that they don't want to freeze, but at the same time, take advantage of uh, the other uh, other features of the product. So you know you can take advantage of software management and so on. So that's under deploy. I'm just going to switch to deploy in a minute, and uh, you know I just like to remind that if Anyone has questions, uh, you know, you can put it to the uh, GoToMeeting uh, Q&A uh, panel. And uh, at the end of the session, we will be answering questions for you. OK, so now I'm going to switch to deploy. So give me one moment. All right, so here we are. Uh, so this is the deploy product. Again, it's a web-based console. So what you see right now is uh, through a web browser. And uh, it gives you a summary of how your environment is functioning, how many apps require updates, how many computers are online or offline, uh, how many computers require pending updates. And as I can, you know, as I would scroll down, you can see uh, you know, it's got a lot of information when the computers have been detected, uh, what sort of policy configurations do you have, how is the health of Windows updates. So the products, the whole idea of Peronix Cloud is to give you one console for complete management of your IT assets. So if you have computers, uh, you know, that are being used by any, uh, like if you've got more than five computers that, that need uh, central management, our products can help you with that. You know, we can, you just have to install the agent on, the pro, uh, on your machines and automatically they start to show up into the cloud. And once you've installed the agent, uh, you can manage them real time. So if I, go on the computers page under applications, I can see I have some computers here listed. Uh, some of the computers are online, some are offline, and I can see what policy is being applied on it. And as I scroll, I can see the status of applications on those computers. I can see uh, if the applications are updated, outdated, installed, uh, all of that information is visible. Now, if I click on web browser, for example, I can see, okay, Google Chrome is up to date because it's in black color. Firefox is outdated because it's in orange color. I have scheduled uh, an update to happen for Firefox and a non-production time so that the user uh, session is not interfered or interrupted. Similarly, Opera Chrome uh, is outdated and Safari is not installed because it's empty. 
If I want to install Safari, I can click on this field, I can click on install, and this would install Safari instantly. If I want to install Edge, I can unselect uh, Safari, I can select the field for Edge, and I can ins click on install. If I want to install Edge on all computers, I can just click on the parent button there, and I can say install all, and automatically all computers which are reporting or online will get Edge. I can do a mass install, uninstall, update, and I can do uh, you know management of these apps. Now, what we've done as a company is we have provided our users with the library of several applications. So we have two uh, major libraries that we've connected. We have one library uh, that is part of our DeFreeze Cloud and our deploy product that's inbuilt into the product. So I'll just show you the apps that we have inbuilt. So we have uh, Google Chrome, Edge, Firefox, Chrome. So a lot of common applications which are used across different environments. We maintain the library for you. So if you're using third-party products like SCCM, uh, Manage Engine, SolarWinds, what you have to do is you have to go and create a package for yourself. If Chrome gets a new version update, uh, you have to create a package. A week after that, if Firefox gets an update, you have to create another package and so forth. And that involves a lot of time as an administrator. You, you, know, you have to first test it, make sure you've got the right installer, and, and then deploy the package or schedule the package maintenance. However, we at Veronix, we maintain these packages for you. So we maintain two libraries for you. One is our inbuilt library of 105 applications. And another one is an external library that we've connected with Winget, which is the Windows Package Manager. And it supports around 165, uh, 1,635 applications. So um, you can install anything that you wish uh, that's part of the library, and you can automatically make sure those applications are always up to date, uh, or they're getting updated during a maintenance period or a scheduled period or if you want to uninstall any of those apps, you can do that. And as you can see here, there are so many applications part of this external library or that we have connected with Microsoft. So any application that you wish to install through this, you just have to click on, uh, let's say, you know, you want to push go to meeting, which we are using today. Uh, you, can, you can click on it, you can define some advanced settings, and then you can click on save to grid, and then, Go to meeting uh, will get added into the grid, and then if I, you know, go into uh, the list, if I want to install Go to meeting on all computers, I can simply click on Go to meeting, and I click on install, and all the computers that are in my environment will have Go to meeting. So this is extremely convenient. We are one of the you know first companies in the market to offer this sort of functionality. There are. Uh, you may find some companies that just do around 100 applications, but with our connection with the Microsoft uh, Package Manager and the app library going beyond uh, you know 1,500 apps, it's, it's like a game changer for IT administrators. You just have to identify the apps that you use and add it to your management console in the cloud, and then you can keep on you know updating it without having to create package. You can set automatic updates and so on. So that's the uh, one, one part of the feature, uh, which is just the application management. We allow you to do Windows updates as well. So just like the uh, application management uh, functionality, Windows updates can be approved and uh, installed, or it can be programmed to automatically manage on your machine. So under your policy, when you're creating a policy, you can define uh, if you want certain updates to automatically install, or if you want certain updates to be just installed after a, a period of two weeks. So you can say any update that's marked as tool category, install it after two weeks. Any drivers, deny it. You may want to install it by yourself, so you can deny drivers completely. And once you've done it, you just have to define how you want the updates to happen. If you do a scheduled update, you can define when the schedule should happen every Wednesday after a patch Tuesday evening, um, um, you know, maybe at uh, 11 o'clock uh, at night, 
depending on what your schedule, what sort of schedule you want. Uh, if someone is working, especially with the work from home approach, they can snooze the maintenance so that the computers don't go and maintenance at, at uh, you know, odd hours. If your environment is behind a proxy, you can define that. So there's a lot of features and a lot of uh, configuration that you can do through the product. Uh, we have an inventory option as well, so you can keep a track of all your IT assets, uh, no matter where they are. Uh, you can see the inf entire information, uh, you know, who's currently logged in, the policy on it. And as I scroll, you can see the user, uh, the manufacturer information, the service tag, the processor information, the disk details, RAM information, system drive, uh, and then it has the public IP, internal IP. Uh, our, our product also can show you the location under deep freeze. Uh, it has the MAC address information. It tells you the health of the computer, the warranty. Everything that you need to know is available there. And from a web browser, you can do a lot of other things like you know remote connect, which we uh, mentioned and which we demonstrated where I connect to a computer sitting in Canada. You can do that. Uh, and you, we have two options. You can either RDP and VNC, or you can just RDP into the machine. Uh, you can do week on LAN, you can do power management, you can do configuration management as well. So just to give you an example, if I go into the configuration management, and let's go here, and if I create a new config, so if I want to make some changes to the Windows firewalls, I can just create a new config, I can say, uh, this is for a firewall rule, and then I can define the changes that I want, and automatically those changes will happen on the machine. If I want to set power management, if I want to activate the inbuilt kiosk mode, if I want to uh, you know, set time zone or add fonts or change the display settings like a wallpaper or, or control the registry, I can do all of that from a web browser. Uh, the product is quite dynamic. Um, you know, you can do, you can run scripts on machines, you can add custom apps as well. So anything that you, you know, you, you go through the library and you realize that, okay, the library has 1600 apps, but this is one unique application that we use in our environment. And, um, you know, Pharonix does not support that. You can add your own package as well. So we support that uh, option where you can add your own package. And then one of the nicest feature of the product uh, is the OS deployment where you can push a complete Windows image uh, if, you're if you've been doing imaging through Ghost or WDS with Sysprep, we support both ways. So you can do a traditional image where you set up a computer the way you want it, capture the image of the computer, and, and then push that image on other computers. Or you can do a layered approach with uh, our you know, modern uh, imaging me uh, me mechanism where you can define your install settings. So you can say when the image gets deployed, uh, set the language as English or um, you know Dutch, or however you want to set it up. Uh, set the time zone for um, according to the user. And then do you want to wipe the disk, create a particular user, join it to a domain? So all of this you can program through different modules and then you can push a complete ISO onto your computers. And when the ISO gets installed, you can run scripts, you can have post imaging tasks where you can say after the image has been installed, automatically install these custom apps. So you can, you can program and do all of that uh, centrally. So that's the imaging functionality. Uh, we have a lot more uh, in the product. So if I just go back to the PowerPoint, uh, you can see uh, deep freeze is something which we've already covered. Software management is the application installation part where you can install apps. Patch management is the Windows update management functionality. You can see remote connect is the ability to RDP or VNC into any of your computer from anywhere uh, over the internet. OS deployment is the ability to uh, RDP, uh, push a, a complete Windows image onto your machine. Then we have uh, software asset management, which we'll look at in a, in a few seconds. And uh, then we have hardware asset management, which is the inventory, which we've already looked at, where you can see complete information about your computers, and you can even pull a Microsoft system information report. 
So now switching back to the console, I'll go to the uh, analytics and use its stats part. So under analytics, we, we give you several reports uh, in terms of which applications is, uh, are being used by which user on how many computer. So you can see a list of all your computers here and uh, all the apps which are being used. So if you click on a particular app, you can see on which computer it is being used, for how much time it has been used, when it was last used, uh, who used it. You can look up this information based on a computer or based on a user. Uh, and then you can generate several reports. If you want to see which uh, computer has which applications installed, you can filter that out. So let's say if I want to see all the applications installed on this uh, uh, machine called TP14 DEPVM. If I, I click on that, I filter down to that computer and I can see the computer has Veronix antivirus installed, Google Chrome, Edge, OneDrive, uh, Microsoft Health updates, uh, PC packages, and VirtualBox guest editions. All of these packages are visible instantly. If I want to reverse lookup, let's say uh, I select all of this, and if I want to check uh, 7-zip is installed on how many computers? I can filter down by 7-zip and I can see these four, four computers have 7-zip installed. I can then go back to the computer's grid under control grid, and then I can uninstall from an individual computer or I can install uninstall 7-zip from all computers. So again, this report adds a lot of value. Then we have license management report. So this is uh, your software asset management report where you can uh, you know define the licensing scheme for all your apps if the computer if the app is a freeware or perpetual or subscription based you can define that you can define how many licenses you hold for it you can specify or or document your licensing information and the notes and then save it and then when you run the report you can clearly see if you're over deployed under deployed uh, if you need to buy more licenses or uh, free up some licenses, all of that information will be available to you instantly. So these reports add a lot of value. And again, you know, as we as I mentioned at the start, the the offering by Ferronix is to make sure you know you've got one product that does everything for you. It's like a Swiss knife where you know you've got all these different tools which you can take advantage of and which you can use. And uh, the other side, the vision of the company is to help you reduce your cost uh, for, uh, you know, by using one single product. So, you know, we have customers that in the past had PDQ deploy for application management, Team Weaver for remote connect, uh, address for ghosting the machines or cloning the machines, um, Snow for inventory. And when they switched to our product, uh, you know, they had they were able to free up all those licenses. They didn't have to renew any of those subscriptions. And with one cost, with one license of our product, they were able to achieve all of that. In fact, much more than what those products offer. So, you know, while we unify all those tools, we give you a big cost advantage, benefit there. And, uh, you know, as Tom mentioned, we, we've got customers right from, IBM, Microsoft, uh, uh, to small custom medium-sized schools, educational councils. So we've got a vast variety of customer base. We've been in the market for 25 years doing uh, or selling deep freeze and uh, the, you know, the associated products around it. So we, we have the market knowledge. We have a team, uh, you know, with, uh, with the in-house team uh, that's, that's quite uh, qualified to understand and develop high quality products. So what you see right now, it's, it's you know, it's, it's modern uh, technology being used, especially the Winget functionality of integrating 1600 apps with uh, one click, you can install those. Then the ability to get these reports, uh, all of that available in a cloud environment. You can see computer usage reports as well. You can see which user has been logging in on which computer, how much time they've been spending in uh, on that computer. So a lot of information available here. And then as I move forward, uh, you know, I'd like to highlight a couple of more features uh, while we still have some time remaining. 
so we've got ticket management. So ticket management allows your users or employees to raise tickets right from the computers. So with this ticket management, if you have a third party help desk tool, you can you can kind of uh, you know end the subscription for that and have all your tickets being created through our product. So it's a complete desk, uh, help desk tool. You can uh, uh, you know view ticket details. You can uh, edit uh, the information, assign tickets to different administrators. Again, it's quite powerful and it's available across both our products. So all the things that we've highlighted, uh, you know, they're, they're available across both platforms. And defreeze is just your decision point. If you want defreeze, then you would go with the defreeze cloud product and take advantage of the same features along with defreeze, like uh, the inventory, uh, the reports, um, you know, the ticket management functionality. All of that is identical. Uh, and then, then you just take advantage of defreeze. And if you don't want the defreeze functionality, uh, you, you can just use deploy and get everything else that we offer uh, without defreeze. So again, you know, what we'd like to highlight is uh, going back to the PPT. So these are our key offerings. We've got a lot of features uh, right from desktop lockdown to application whitelisting, mobile device management. All of that available in the web console. Um, I'm just going to highlight a couple of more features real quick, and then we'll move to our inside product, which is a classroom management solution. So we've got kiosk mode functionality as well. So you can instantly convert a computer into a kiosk uh, with, with this custom look and feel. We've got power management. So especially, you know, with the way the energy costs have uh, spiked up, Power management or power save adds a lot of value. You can define your power plan. You can define how much you pay for your power bills. And power save will add a lot of value. It will save a lot of, uh, you know, you would recover the ROI quite quickly, even if you've got 100 computers and if each computer saves one euro a month, you're saving 100 euros a month. And over the year, you're saving 1,000 plus euros. So, you know, it's again like a no brainer software. Uh, to have and implement across your environment and which helps you, uh, you know, to contribute towards the planet, which helps you save power. And, and it, it's all documented with these reports. So you can showcase your contribution, uh, how much money you've been able to save, how much money you've been able to recover through DeFreeze or, or Ferronix products. And then we have the antivirus as well. So if you want to add additional layer of security on top of DeFreeze or without DeFreeze, We've partnered with Bitdefender to provide this uh, ultra modern antivirus solution, which is quite powerful. Uh, we use the latest engine, uh, and, it, and it's, it comes with the firewall as well. And all of this can be managed from your web browser. So, uh, you know, you, you have the option to centrally manage all of this, either from DeFreeze Cloud or Deploy. And along with enterprise level features like multi site management. Uh, multi-user management. So if you have different administrators, if you want to add them to the console, give them limited permissions, uh, you can do all of that. You can uh, allocate them to certain sites only, or uh, you know, along with sites, you can add, uh, define or limit them to groups uh, and features. So it's it's quite customizable. Um, we we support adding administrators through SAML or Active Directory as well. So if you're using Azure AD. You can link it with it as well. Uh, you can define different permissions. And you know it's, it's all web-based, so they can log in from anywhere. They can remote connect. Uh, they can manage your users at any time. So, so that's what I wanted to highlight under our deep freeze cloud and deploy product. I'm just going to take a couple of minutes to highlight our Ferronix Insight product, which is a classroom management solution. And then I'll pass it down to uh, you know, the, the, the host to uh, uh, go into the Q&A session. So uh, Ferronix Insight is a classroom or a lab magic management solution. What it does is uh, it's designed for teachers and students. So if you are a teacher uh, and, and uh, if you you know if you if you've got a classroom of uh, full of students like let's say 40 students or 25 students or five students irrespective of the number and if you want to have a centralized view of what the students are doing and at the same time collaborate with those students uh, talk to them chat with them 
uh, share content with them, share your screen, or take control of their screen, or have control or, or, or have visibility of what they're doing, uh, the Insight product will allow you to do that. So you can instantly view or remote connect and see what the students are doing using the uh, in, in uh, you know the remote functionality. It's a real time preview of a tile. So you can, if you've got multiple students, you can have multiple students uh, listed here. You can have different sort views. If you have uh, seating arrangements in a different way, you can uh, align it accordingly. And once you have the student module installed, you can have different restrictions. So if you're doing a classroom uh, test, uh, you can lock the screens, uh, you can disable chatting, you can block applications on the computers, you can block internet or websites on the computers or drives. And then you can also create questions uh, like a test, and then you can have a multi-choice question uh, that you want to send it to students or uh, uh, you know an essay question. However you want to add it, you can do that. Uh, you can give uh, different weightage to different questions. Um, and then you can send it to the students, they can answer the questions, and then you can, on a real-time basis, uh, see how much score, uh, you know, Mark saves code. Uh, you can chat uh, or talk to the students. You can completely block their screen. You can blank their screen. You can share your screen with them. Uh, you can have different classes. Uh, so you, we support BYOD architecture. We support uh, fixed lab architecture. So again, inside, it's, it's, a, it's a collaboration tool uh, at the moment. The product is designed for local environments, uh, but we uh, we are planning to take this to the cloud as well very soon. So you will be able to have classrooms over the internet. Uh, you know the pandemic has changed everything. Our our deep freeze and deploy products are already cloud enabled, uh, and Insight will be cloud enabled very soon. So so yeah, these are you know the the, the different products that we have uh, under the Peronix umbrella, and. Uh, it's, it's uh, as I said, you know, we've been selling this, uh, these products for 25 years. So it's solid products. We are, we've got offices in uh, in Canada, which is our uh, central uh, headquarters. Then uh, I, Tom, and Kalpesh were based in the UK. So uh, we, we cover the entire European region from our UK office. Uh, then we have office in Singapore and in Dubai. So, you know, you have full coverage across different time zones through a support team. Uh, the products that we have, they're fully GDPR compliant. Our cloud servers are within the European region. They're based in Ireland. So uh, there's no there's no issue about security or data privacy. Uh, and we also provide professional services. So if you need our help in installing in, uh, or you know customizing the product uh, according to your environment, uh, we, we provide professional services and uh, um, you know, the products are available for a fully functional 30-day trial. All you have to do is go to peronix.com and sign up for a trial and take advantage of these products. And if you need help in setting it up, our support team is uh, available at support at peronix.com. Even if you are not a paying customer, we will be more than happy to help you with your pilot or, or your trial. Uh, so feel free to reach out to us through support uh, if you have questions and, and uh uh, you know, we'll be more than happy to help you out. So that's all from my side. I will, uh, you know, we, we'll have some Q&A now. So I'll give uh, the audience some time to post their questions and uh, uh, we'll be answering them as, as they come through. So thank you so much for, for your time today. Well, thank you for a great presentation. Uh, yeah, and we we actually, we do have some questions here. So if you'd be able to answer those, that'd be, That'd be great. Uh, the first one is, can I use the freeze in one department in my company and deploy in another department? Uh, yeah, you can do that. So we have uh, the the cloud console. So if I switch back uh, uh, to the console, we have site-based management. So if you want to completely, uh, um, you know, bifurcate the environments, keep it completely separate, you can do it through sites or if you want to have just a grouping structure, like a logical grouping, you can do through groups, and then you can have the policies allocated based on groups. So one policy can have deep freeze enabled, 
and another policy where you don't want defreeze or you want a different configuration for defreeze, you can do that. So we, we the way we, uh, we've we designed the product, they're like Lego blocks. So you can mix and match and have a, a policy according to your choice for one computer or multiple group of computers. Perfect. So another question here is, if um, a 30-day trial is not enough to test the product, can I extend the trial period? Uh -huh. Technically, yes. Uh, we, we will be more than happy to help uh, you extend the evaluation. Uh, the product, uh, most of our customers, they are able to, uh, you know, complete the evaluation within 30 days. And uh, our team, our support team and our pre-sales team uh, can also work with you during your evaluation phase to help you set up the product and evaluate it in the right way. So you're not really doing it on your own or a bit lost with the product. So, you know, we can help you uh, with the evaluation. But yeah, if, if an extension is required, uh, our commercial team, Kalpesh from, from uh, our team, you can reach out to him and he will be more than happy to extend the evaluation for you at any time. Oh, yeah, yeah, thanks. So another work question here is, is the Prees only available as a cloud solution? Okay, so we have DFrees available as cloud and on-premise. However, the additional features that we have, like uh, application management, uh, the software updating, or ticket management, or inventory, those modules are not available. Only the basic DFrees functionality uh, is available on premise, and uh, yeah, you can uh, you can still freeze the machines uh, and and manage it through an on premise console uh, and take advantage of the defreeze feature. Okay, good. So next question is: How many users are using deep freeze in a standard installation? Five, fifty, or hundreds? Uh, I. In terms of users, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if, uh, if I understand the, uh, you know, the end point, I mean, like the, the question correctly. Uh, so I'll try to answer it in all directions. In terms of ad user as an admin, uh, you can have as many users as you would like uh, to centrally manage the console. There's no upper limit. You can add all your IT team into the console. Uh, that's one an interpretation of the question. The other one, if you uh, are referring to any user or, or a local user, again, there is no limit. How many users, how many other users your Windows operating support operating system allows you to add, they can log in. And uh, whenever they log off, you can force the restart so that every time the user logs off, the computer comes back clean. Or you can, uh, you can hold off the restart until the end of the day. So let Ten, so, you know, let's take an example of a classroom where student one comes in, um, they, they, they finish their lesson on the computer, and then student two from a different classroom comes in, uh, and then they are doing their session. So you can either restart in between those lessons, or you can, you can say, I want to restart at the end of the day. So under your policy, you would define uh, a time when you want the restart to happen, uh, and then automatically the computer would just restart daily at this particular time. So again, the product has multiple ways to handle that. I hope that I've, I've been able to answer the question. Okay, yeah, good. So yeah, questions keep coming in here. Uh, do you set up uh, configuration help or support or do you offer that? I mean. So we have getting started uh, materials, so both defreeze and deploy. So if you if you wish to do it by yourself, uh, we we have a lot of material online uh, where we guide you through videos, through user guides, uh, through an online chat, uh, and same applies for deploy. So we have an inbuilt uh, you know guide which you can take advantage of, and it's quite detailed. I mean, if you just click on one feature, like for example, how to install the agent. Uh, you know, you can easily see it's it's detailed enough of how you can do it with screenshots uh, and and you know illustrative uh, mockups there where you can easily identify what are the steps. So we have detailed documentation available online, but if you still need help, our chat support is available right there. 
our email support is available again during evaluation stage and it's free of cost only if you need our professional services those are charged so uh, where we do on-site sup uh, support uh, or services or remote services depending on that the prices are defined uh, but yeah that's the only uh, additional cost for support where if you need our help for you know complete implementation with custom policies and everything but for do it yourself approach if you if you just want to get started by your own self you can sign up for a trial uh, and there's a lot of material available online along with the team members to help you out okay good yeah so uh, next question here can you manage manage mobile devices from your application okay that's a great question so the answer is yes we have an inbuilt mdm module into the product so if you have ios android or chromebooks uh, you can manage those devices from the same console again this goes back to what i said uh, the idea or the vision behind a company is to unify and centralize all uh, pc and mobile device management like one console for total management of your it assets that's that's the you know the the big motto that you would see across all the websites and marketing materials. So yes, the answer is yes. We allow you to manage mobile devices uh, through our MDM solution. However, it's not a reboot to restore functionality. It's not de free. It's it's a it's a mobile device management solution where you can apply restrictions uh, onto devices. You can track where the devices are. Uh, you can integrate with Apple School Manager or Business Manager. And same applies for Android. So yeah, we, we allow you to manage mobile devices from the same console. Okay, yeah, so last question here. How many apps does a deploy library support? Okay, again, that's, that's a good question there. So uh, the deploy library, uh, if, if, if you want the exact number, uh, under the WinGit package manager, we have, uh, 1,600 and around 50 because 15 apps have already added. So these are the remaining apps. So 1,650 apps under our, uh, the WinKit package manager and under our own library, which we uh, manage, uh, it has around 105. So that makes it around, you know, if, if, if even if we compare or there's some duplicates between, uh, you know, so maybe around 1,700 apps along with the ability to add your own custom package so you at any time you can create your own package and add that to the uh, management of your computer so so when you add custom packages the list goes infinite so there's no number or or an end number there you can add as many apps as you want to the list great and i think uh, i think that's uh, it for the questions so uh, I just want to say to uh, Tom Usman and uh, Kalpesh, thanks a lot for your presentation. Uh, very enlightening. Great. Thank you, everyone, for attending. We really appreciate your time today. And yeah, if you have any questions, uh, just, just you know, feel free to reach out to us through a support at peronics.com uh, email, and we'll be more than happy to help you out with your evaluations.